Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing well. Today, you join me back at G3 Auctions in Yorkshire. And this time I brought some friends. So I've got James from Chops Garage and we've got Dave from Car Dealer Pro. And we're gonna see who can buy the best car for under 10 grand, I think. It looks like we've got quite a lot of cheap sort of ex-finance cars and things here that we can buy today. So there's absolutely loads of cars, loads to choose from. Some of them might be a bit more risky, but it should make for some interesting content. And if someone wants to buy something cheaper, they can, but we're gonna set some other rules out that I'll put on the screen, like who has their car for the longest, who gets the best return on investment and things like that. We won't take, we won't take it too seriously, will we? Yeah, I mean, James will just completely ignore them if, we, if history's anything to go by. But yeah, I'm quite looking forward to it. I think there's going to be some interesting cars. There's some some Do you explain to the people why there's pressure on me to get a car today? Yeah, well, I brought James up with me, but I'm not going back to home tomorrow. So um, James, or today even. So yeah, James, James has got to find something here and drive back four or five hours. A little so, nugget, little nugget that you gave me on the way up. Yeah, on the way up. Yeah, yeah. I didn't want to tell you before because you know you might not want to come or <laughs> yeah. whatever. Yeah. But I think you'll be all right. Four, I mean, four and, tell and a half what, hours home is it? Something like that. Something like that. I mean, if you don't break down, yeah, could be longer. Yeah. But I would say you can you can take my car back if you want, because it'll probably be more reliable than whatever you buy. So okay. <laughs> yeah, well, like the micro with no clutch. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, right. So there's absolutely loads of cars, so we can't really waste too much time. We'll get in there, have a look around, see what we've got going through, and then see if we can't get some bought. Well, I think they'll obviously be like this, and I think they start from that end, so. I'm not interested in vans. Everybody tells me vans sell super easy. I get them in and then they're a pain in the ass. So well, I'm, I'm interested not... in these little Euro car parts vans. They'd have been Seeing a sound to hell, wouldn't inside they? man said. For me, little vans, if that, if you can sell that for five, five grand, it'll be in and out. Is that the price it's, point, is it's it? Phenomenal. Well, it's, got, a, it's got like a cap clean of like three maybe, or three and a half, but he said they've been going through for like 1,500 too. Yeah. And, and thing I like about a commercial is it can go through like this looking like all the marks on it the wheels look rough yeah. but it's so simple to give it a quick buff, buff and paint the wheels paint yeah. the wheels and then it looks a million dollars yeah, yeah. On your or even if you just put some trims on as well <laughs> yeah they're plus plus fat as well aren't they this might not be the one to have for the scratches down the side. But. No, they're not. They're just glue. That's oh, the great thing. Oh, oh, that's what we were saying. On the, on the, on the, oh, for people not here, they're going to think they're yeah, scratches. Yeah, exactly. I mean, even so, for me looking at them, I didn't realise I realize so how that, that'll come uniform the lines were. Blowing, uh, that's probably the one that, yeah, they do look like they scratched to hell, don't they? If you didn't know. See, would you paint the wheels or would you... See, I'd, I'd stick some trims on me. No. I'd paint them black. Paint the wheel. No, I'd paint them silver. Stone chips quicker. Mm. I'd give them a real good acid clean, put some acid on, let it soak off, jet wash it, let them dry, bring them inside, just... Yeah, I've got yeah, some yeah. little cards that stick around, yeah, yeah, spray them out silver. Oh yeah, yeah, I used to do Valve, that with the cards. Valve, and everything. Yeah, well, I do that, I can't involve with that. I get, I get um, grease, and I, I put it on brush and put the grease around the towel and spray it, and then just wipe the grease off. Wouldn't you just spray it black? Yeah, I'd spray it no, black, No, I think yeah. black just makes mm -hmm. it look... Yeah, I, like I, think, I, I, think, I think silver gives it a little fresh pop, but... Silver ain't gonna last as long, is it, as well? It'll just go like that, won't it, in a few months? As long as it gets off the forecourt, Dave, yeah, you know it. Yeah, yeah. I think I need people, yeah, no, no. I, I'm chatting away here and recording nothing, and you've got all your guys recording, like, mad things. I've got this here somewhere. SVC. Focus is, you, if you can't sell a Focus, you've got a serious issue on the go, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. What mileage is it? 65. Yeah, and it's the 1.6. I'm sure I've got to see it somewhere. Is that the old Z-Tech engine, the 1.6, isn't it? That's an all right engine. Yeah, yeah, that's a fact. That I've got a lady who wants one of these on. right now, actually. She bought one off me and wrote it off and was about messaging me every week saying, have you because got a car? And she wants to hold off until I've got one. See, so looking at that, 13 plate, MOT, until next February. See, does that not make you think, oh, God, they've MOT'd it and now they're getting rid of it? That makes me think the dealer MOT'd it, so it got a bit more money at the auction. Sometimes yeah, they yeah that's potentially. For cheap, cheap yeah. MOT. But do you not find that you sometimes you get people, you know, most people are terrible with their part exchanges, they're filthy, they haven't done anything with yeah. them, they haven't got the history altogether, but some people, 
do will service them. Do you think we're actually optimists? Because we always manage to talk ourselves into stuff like this. Like, actually, I know. they do service them. But to do them, this job, you have to be, don't you? Yeah. You can't you be a pessimist to, you because you just be, you never would no, buy anything. You wouldn't, you wouldn't no. buy your thing. You would no. not buy your car. You find every problem of everything and say that is a reason. Mm. And Jeez. This was one I think James was interested in. What's that? The i20, 17 Yeah, plate. that is the one actually I was interested. I thought that would be a good drive home for me. Right, your MOT history on that. Advisory free, mate. They're never going to get around these cars. Advisory Look, they're still over there. And deciding who's going to bid on that Ford Focus, well. the first so car they've come across. To get it advisory free. It went straight. Last MOT was just a couple of tyres. <laughs> Let's keep moving. I had this Range Rover in my watch list as well. Toby likes this. MOT's a couple right of up Toby left, Street. Then, Huge, isn't it? I haven't been close it's, to one of these. Uh, I don't even pay attention. What is the Where's the Age Rangers in a while? It's got MOT, so we could drive this back. It is a manual. I would have like to I can't an see, auto yeah, I can't but see the grade only problem was I got this as if Sophie saw it because it wouldn't be my car anymore it's quite nice isn't it it's actually in really good condition um, right we can go and get a cup of tea and a, a bacon butty in a minute but let's have a look at Armandeo first can't get distracted by uh, yeah. food there's work to be done there's competitions to be won this Mondeo estate god it's filthy inside wow See, that would be a really nice car, but look at the state of it. It's being like a brickies car. Look at the dust down here. Oh, God, yeah, it's not, it's not brick dust, is it? It's a fag ash. That has destroyed that car. What have you seen, Joe? You got any in your, in your firing line so We've got a Ford Ashtray here. With what engine? Um, you don't know what engine? I don't know, it probably runs on uh, king so size, Joe, you get whatever. In cars, or you get petrol cars, okay, and they have a CC. So I'm just, I'm just saying. It, I, I'm not interested. I was interested because it's a lovely Mondeo estate, but yeah. it literally is like an ashtray inside. So is it? Bet that was Dave. Jag. A brown Jag. What's that on the dashboard? Can't tell if that's aftermarket or if it's got like a projector. Type thing on the dash. No, I haven't really seen that before. On it. Mm, one to keep an eye on. Paintwork. Two litre G, uh, TDI. Broken front plate. It's a bit tatty, isn't it? We had the last one of these we had in white like this was with us for ages. We've got silver S Max titanium. Not very exciting, but could have a decent profit. It would be very comfortable to drive back in. Now, do I some, do something very silly? You know that's bad news when it's got some kind of race number on the side of it and it's covered in moss. I bet this thing, the number plates, the boot's been taped shut. BMW M5, 119,000 miles on a 15 plate, I think. Holy moly. I'll have a look at this tyre. I always wanted to try one of these Sirocco's, but it's fine. It's got a set of... Um, Devon ditch finders on there. Bloody hell. What happened there? They've gone right up against They've the They've gone flat and just carried on driving it, haven't they? Yeah. Yeah, I've always fancied trying a Sirocco, but it's got no report on it, and it's from the finance company. It's too risky to try and go home on that, isn't it? Yeah. I normally, like I say, if I could hear them running and starting and driving and see inside the engine bay, uh, see inside the dash, but I don't want to cause myself a load of work at the moment. Oh, where's the BMW M5? Have we gone and buy that yet? The M5 is here. I walked right by it, did I? Huh? Did I walk right by it? How many miles on it again? 119, but it's got no out of MOT. Oh. It's got, oh, it's got like a metallic y black wrap on the roof. It's got winter tyres on, which is a bit strange. So I had another 3 Series, but it's not this one in my list. Do you know, 16 minutes to the auction starts, and we yeah, are so like five lanes in of about yeah, 20, come up for that and if not more. It's like, there was a lot of cars to look at. This was one that I was interested in. This was the red one I was looking for earlier. Yeah. Wonder what its report says. All the tyres are on three mil, so they're double the legal limit. Good enough to get us back, but we would want to put some new ones on. 115,000 miles is more than I'm trying to. Could help us on profit if we're lucky with it. 9,805 retail, so we can definitely get this in our competition. It would be the nicest looking car, but I think we're trying to keep a close eye on what it sounds like. 
that hasn't got on a shoulder pull. That is a very nice car. Right, so what do I want to bid for that? Let's see what our retail rating is. It won't be very high, I expect. Well, 58 out of 100. It's not bad, actually. It'd be nice to see this, like a phoenix rising from the ashes. Give this a polish up. Sort the I wheels out. It'll look absolutely awesome. Could have about sort seven grand. Remember that, category. Toby. Seven grand. How are you getting on? What what's took your fancy then? What's the main thing? I'm not sure I want to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's what have I? I can't remember what I looked at. Maybe like a Mondeo. Maybe these a couple. Maybe one of these Euro parts yeah. vans. But yeah. there's a A5 back here, which is quite risky. It's a two-litre diesel. Yeah. It's a DSG. But it's got service history. You know them cars inside out, though, don't you? Yeah, I know what a pain they can be. <laughs> exactly. But I just know there will be good money in it. I think it will go cheap and it will look yeah. awesome. Look, it'll look awesome on the... Uh, it's 115,000 miles as well, which is more than I want to be buying these days. But. Yeah. See, I'm, uh, the ones that have took my eye, I don't know if there's enough margin in them. Like, there's a Volvo there. Yeah. It's beautiful. 90,000. It only retails at six. And I can yeah. see people paying up to like four, four and a half for it. You might be surprised, that's the thing. You know what I mean? I was surprised that, you know, How cheap if you're used to looking at the big places like Mannheim and BCA, I think they go a bit, can go a bit cheaper, but right. I could be completely wrong. But yeah. yeah, yeah, we'll have a look. There's a load of cars as well that I've seen here, and I'm like, I don't remember seeing that yeah. before, yeah, yeah, yeah. so it seems yeah, like yeah. there's a load yeah, yeah, more. Yeah, like that Focus at the bottom. It was there, uh, yeah? Yeah, there's like yeah. a... Yeah, there'll be I always do that, up. don't ask me why, I'm tripping over myself. James, do you want a catalogue now? Ah, nice. Cheers, buddy. We're off doing our own thing, aren't we? We're just not hanging yeah, out that's all right. Well, well, um, you found bits of stock you're interested in? Yeah, there's a few bits. I'm feeling like getting very brave with this. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. This is a top tip. Reef electrics. Yeah. The roofs always stick on these. Ah, okay. So oh, people think sportage. they're broken, but you speak to the guys at Kia, they have their own grease for doing it. you just got to get in there, clean it all out, grease the shit out, they go back and forth, back and forth, and they always free up, but they can move so slowly, you think they're broken? Yeah. He says, hoping oh. that that's what it would be. Oh, yeah. Right, no MOT on my C-Class I was interested in. That's good. Yeah, it could be a good bit of stock. What about this, Toby? Five litre V8 supercharged Jag XFR. It has got a long MOT. I'll be tempted to buy it just for a laugh. 88,000 miles. Oh no. The door locks don't work, obviously. Yeah, this was the uh, legacy that Dave was interested in. If you wanted work, then, you know, it'd be all right. Oh, this is the uh, this is the Golf R32. There's a there's definitely a story here because it seems a little bit of damage on the front near side corner here, but there's also two massive bullseye marks in the windscreen. Clearly, the passenger didn't have their seatbelt on when they've bumped into something. It looks like something blue there. I not I, it could be a car, but I reckon it's a bollard or something. They've hit there, and then head-butted the window because they didn't have... Didn't have their seatbelts on. Yeah, it could have had potential, uh, but yeah, someone would want it. You'd probably get that quite cheap. We'll find out how much it goes for. I don't know what the sort of retail's meant to be, but I can see it going cheap. If you wanted one to fix it up, it would be a cheap way to get one. I like that, but it's 127,000 miles. It's just a bit more than I really want to be betting on. TLA 180, I can't remember if this had MOT or whatever, but it's quite a nice thing. We had one of these in black the other day. It sold quite quickly. It's got MOT, no service history, 95,000 miles. It's a manual, which is a bit of a shame, but... Big thing to So, what's... 
279. It's got cap retail of 7795. Cap clean of 5800. So, let's have a look at Auto Trader. I think we can go about five grand so you've on got that. A doing a cam belt service on and be okay with it. Seven but we'll have half. to see what happens. All right. I think we need to stick to what we've seen, not get caught up with what else is about to go through. About to get the Other than this, about I guess to this is through. the one that Dave was on about. We'll leave that for Dave. But it would have been alright. What about this Mondeo actually? Let's see what this Mondeo is saying. Find out what my uh, bidding number is. It's a power oh, okay. shift. Now, you can get a good one, okay, but I'd I'll rather not run the risk, I don't think. Do you want a catalogue? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. See this blue van. I want to record this blue van coming through and see what it goes for. You, got, you get two catalogues. You get a red one. This is how complicated you have. Oh, I was watching all that coming through. Have you got enough catalogues? Yeah, yeah, no, I've got mine now, yeah. Right, so the vans are going through first. Oh, oh god, shit, you've got that one. Yeah, they're interested what these yeah. new This is where you get oh, two catalogs. Really stressful. Two, yeah, yeah. This is like BCA back in the day where you go that one, to that one, to that one, and then you miss one. Oh. That Volvo of yours will be going, well, where yeah, is it? It's there, soon, fairly yeah. soon. Volvo's there. You have got to be on the ball. Mm. I'm going to have a look around these vans, see which yeah, one's yeah, the yeah, best yeah. bet. Trying to see yeah, which I mean, ones have got the lower mileage. This one, I've got a bit of a prop there. Yeah, that sounds alright. He's off. I guess he's just won something and he's running away from it. The way he's revving that up doesn't give me much confidence. Let's go and see James, see if he's got any. It's quite nice, isn't it? That 520D. No MOT though, which would cause us problems in getting back. Be interested to see what this does then. So, cap clean, it's only 4,600 on that. Let's have a little look. It looks pretty popular, so. A couple of stamps on this. Shame, shame about the MOT, so it's already out MOT, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Cheap car, really. If you get it back. Chops garage on a Dacia, like a tramp on chips. Interested in that one? That's it, that's the uh, look, front bumpers as always. I say if people go. Better tell Dacia's. Dave that his Volvo is about to go through. The Dacia's he'll go. It's had front end paint back because the panel gaps are horrible and the bumper clips are out of the front. And you go look at every one of them and all the bumper clips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just the build quality. That'd be a good drive home, wouldn't it? Hey? That'd be a good drive home. Yeah. We could have two in a row here. Dave on this one. James on the Dacia. Maybe that means we should be by the Volvo that's behind the V50. Or maybe we should get on the S-Max. Tell them the clutch is knackered though. Clutch is knackered on that. Oh, is it? That's why you get in and check it. <laughs> oh, you just... <laughs> uh, <no. laughs> you fell for that, didn't you? <laughs> I was going to let you have it, but no, I'm going to outbid you. I'm going to run you up. Is that one you're interested in, is it? No, I'm going to on that one, so I couldn't do it even if I wanted to. No, I do. It looks too nice amongst all this other stuff. Yeah, it's a nice, clean so, example. It stands out. Yeah, people are going to go mad for it, aren't they? I've just, I've done about 
70% I was like, I'm just going to leave the rest and stick to the ones that I've seen. Yeah. I think so that's why you need. That's why you need loads of cars on your watch list. Yeah, you need it all prepped before. It, you almost need to get what. Yeah. I do exactly what you do, is I'd make a list online, you know, come up, pick a catalogue, get my marker out and then do yeah. them and work your way through, write what you want to pay. Yeah. But we couldn't get a catalogue early enough, could we? No, that's no, no. We bugging me up. Yeah. And that's when you see something and you're like, oh, that looks nice. And you buy it and yeah. you realise it's a rear end or something. <laughs> yeah. And then you haven't done your own work and you're like, oh, it's not worth six, it's worth five. A lot going on. Yeah. <laughs> it's like... It does get you, not anxiety levels though, it's, like, it's a buzz. It does get it? your blood pumping, yeah. It does, it gets yeah, you yeah. going, it gets you going and then... Yeah, if you up. need a bit of exhilaration, not... Sounds a bit cheesy to say exhilaration and action, but just, yeah, yeah it's still good for... No, like, like, you know, when I got into cars, this is why I got into it, because... Yeah, yeah. Coming is the nearest thing I've got to being in a nightclub, you know. Um, but the worst thing you do is buy a car early on, because I think once you've bought one, then it's easier to buy another one and another one. It's like one, going, the, one. going to the toilet when you're out drinking. Once you break the seal, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you just keep going. But then the mistake I made last time was I kept holding out and kept holding out, trying to buy the best thing, best and thing. You rushing, and you get to the end to and you're out. desperate and then you just think, yeah. oh, and I, yeah, so yeah. I want to, the first thing that comes through that I want to buy, I want to make sure I get a decent it, bid yeah. on it. Rather than trying, like, I want to get a massive margin out of it, just yeah, yeah, yeah. make sure I get something. I've got one car here, I've got my own, but I think it's got a good margin in it. So. Which one is that? that I'm going to tell you that, am I? <laughs> oh, here's James' i20. Should we go and see that? Is he over there? Where is he? This is the one he wanted. Oh, he's. He's in there filming already. He's on it. Mileage guy, 33. 16. I was obviously probably so I was trying to call you, I didn't realise you were in here. I was like, he's gonna miss it. The guy said he was a little bit judgment in the clutch, but then it's like a retailer with a six Here we go. Here we go. No, no, no. No, no, no. no. It's alright. But, oh, he's been on his Volvo, is he? He's going for the Volvo, yeah. He's going on that. I'm tempted to, but I've got one car. I'm tempted to, it's going to kill me. Well, when he wants to pay, I think. Volvo. Let's see how the Dacia does. I'm tempted to put the Dacia, but the Dacia will kill me. But I wrote down all around some of these ones that we want. We'll get them on the list here. We didn't really get to look at anything that was in the black lane. I'm fairly confident we can get that because even if I pay over cap clean for it, there's still a healthy margin in it as far as the auto trader retail goes. Did I have anything else over there I was interested in? I think there wasn't that much, was there? Really good value. Let's do the retail really check on this one. Just out of curiosity. 318D, I think I might like that, didn't I? So I have to have a listen out for flywheel on this. Right. 
I decided about the brown XF. <laughs> we can go and have a look at we could have we could look in the RS5 potentially. I'd say I'd be too easy down my way for this to get it up at 399. A lot quieter than I thought. Right, we'll go and watch it uh, go through then. You want anything? I'll be, what have you got? Uh, mini oh, okay. convertible. Oh, like the roadster one? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I was happy with it, but um, it said cap value, like retail, five and a half. But when I done my homework yesterday, it was like six, seven, eighty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I thought, oh, six and a half, maybe. You know, it might be because the, the, the uh, extras on it. I don't know. But I got it for three, anyhow. So yeah, if we yeah, can yeah. sell that for six and a half, even six, that's a good margin, isn't it? I'm gonna go and watch, see what this one does. But, um, yeah, I've yet to get one yet. Come on. Oh, this is that Audi, isn't it? Yeah, the A5. When that gets a little while yet. James looks a little bit possessed when he's doing his filming. He does it just on his phone, but he's talking to his phone like this close. This is the behind the scenes of Chop's Garage, the way he films. Oh yeah, the white one. So you've got like a desirable sports car thing that some lady's going to go, I love that, I've got like a, I need a runabout. It's so I'll be interested to see which goes. Yeah. It is quite, it's towards the higher end of my sort of normal market to be honest. Oh really? Is this not a bit of you, George Sirocco? I've had quite a few of them, but the last one I had was just like that, although it was a DSG, in white and it just sat there forever. Did it? Yeah. See, I have no problem selling them. What's that? I, I don't normally, to be fair, but I think the nicer, the newer they are, the more it's I just going to sit around. So it's got to be like an 11, 12. You've got to be like a proper cheap one. You know? Yeah, yeah. Crazy, isn't it? <laughs> you can buy what is under a grand car for pocket change yeah, now. Yeah. Are you getting a bit twitchy now that you haven't bought anything? No, because I know mine aren't, I've got one in about 30 I think I'm interested in. The ones, they'll start coming through in a minute in a thorough Oh, mine mode. came through together in one lot. Yeah, There's yeah. like five of them all at the same time. That, that was the other one I bid it on. See that uh, Kia C? What? It's a stake. Oh, am I? 72,000. It was worth six and a half. It went for 38, I think. Okay. Should have maybe went one more. Yeah, it's tricky, isn't it, when you're there? See, I got a, Good price a 318D coming through. It's, it's quite, well, it's a cheapy-ish one. But I thought, that, it's quite, it looks quite tight, nice, tidy. The mileage isn't amazing, but that would be all right. But I'd rather bid on the ones that are coming later. And this is what I did last time. I was like, I won't go on that one because I really want the one later. Yeah. Then everyone else bids on the one later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you put, are you looking to get something that's going to sell quick as well, mate? No, we, we all need something that's going to sell quick. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, is that the problem with the Mini? I think it's going to sell rapid. I wouldn't be surprised if it sells straight away, though. You never know. 
you never know. So I should have got that automatic. Automatic, estate, everyone's off, a diesel as well. There's always a market, isn't it? Doesn't oh, matter what it is. I should have bidded one day. more. Should have bidded one more. That's the thing as well. Coming to the auction when you first come, you find that you're really excited. But then if you don't buy anything at the end of the day, you're, you're dejected. Just, yeah, you're, yeah. You're in a really bad mood, aren't you? Yeah. No, what a waste but of a day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm never coming to the auction again. I'm just bidding online. We're getting close to BMW. So you go and see if that see that spot up. Huh? Yeah, I might do. But because I'd rather have the A5, I'm going to only bid cheeky cheeky on it. It does look quite cool, doesn't it? It's got um, out of MOT. So no good for us for today. As far as they go, it sounds all right. Still want to get it cheap if I'm going to sacrifice buying. Uh, I don't have to sacrifice buying the other one. I can still keep this here and get it picked up. 2019 aircraft with like 50,000, 60,000 miles just went for four and a half grand. Are you stressing? You haven't bought a car? Or have you no. One? No, 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 I got stuff coming up. Got the problem is, I'm, I'm, I'm playing the same silly game I was playing last time, I'm trying to pick the best. And He's been potentially... saying that all afternoon that you've got something coming up. Yeah. But to be fair, if you do hang fire and your stuff comes up towards the end, you probably do alright on it. Because yeah, well then you're forced into buying something. So I said, tuck. I've got BMW coming through, which I could go up to five on, but because there's other things I'm more interested in, I'm only going to go to four. If it goes cheap, great. Well, I just saw two. I was just saying to the guys, so these guys now... I don't even know if we got it yet. Will we find out today? That's the problem. Did you get, did you get that BM? It's you a provisional. It's, no, it's a provisional. <laughs> I did win it on a provisional, but I realised that I've made like a proper schoolboy error. I was oh. like, oh, I, I could bid five on it, but I want to get it for under four, really. So I got it for three and a half oh, on a provisional, and I was like, great. I was thinking of a different car. I wanted to go oh, three no. max. <laughs> so <laughs> so 500 over. Oh. So you're relieved you've got it on provisional. Uh, yeah, exactly. So they oh, might say, I mean, they'll probably just say, yeah, they've accepted. Yeah. But I mean, it's still, it's, it's, it's probably got 1,500 quid plus Can't in it. No problem. So at the camera. minute, I've, I've got a car. We've got a Mini, James has got, what have you got, a Hyundai? Hyundai 20, yeah. So we've got very exciting cars, but Joe's got No, I've nothing. got planned, you've got exciting. You're getting but excited? I've, I've already been on my phone, screenshotted the identical car on out of uh, Google Images and sent it to a customer that I've got that wants. Oh, the ones it? Want, wants a mid-sized, small oh, CC you, you could win car. this challenge then. Even before we leave the auction. That's what you gotta do straight away. Like I'll put that yeah. in a minute I'm gonna sit down and put it on my Facebook page and on my um yeah. on my YouTube see if we can't get someone on it straight away. I think my sister needs a car. She's gonna get that. a mini. The family's out. <laughs> I mean she's gonna buy it for her. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that looks like a little bit more. Hello, hello? I had that on my watch list though. Having fun? Oh, it's red. I'm, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah better off avoid it, isn't it? No sense. To be fair, yeah, man. That's a lot of cheap cars. That's my little car. I got Red, like but it's sang a lot. Oh, James, you have a go at the note. That is ideal stuff, good. Yeah, yeah, I don't know how you manage to sell it. Yeah. It's fine, man. It's for me, though. 
What is it? No, no, I mean the yeah, no. Hundred and one pounds. Yeah. See, I'm trying to keep well under a hundred now, but like thirty four. Yeah. Again, he's got that market. He knows he can sell that stuff, and he doesn't. Yeah. I mean, it, it will sell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. it's just. Yeah. And he knows that market. I just did exactly what you're not supposed to do. I just bought a car. Did you win it? Seen before, yeah. Did he win it? Yeah, I haven't seen it before. I haven't checked. I don't know what the MRT is. They're the best buys. Two seven fifty for a 2014 Note with 100 pounds. Were well, you thinking three nine nine or? Yeah, yeah, three nine nine five. I'm thinking I'm going to beat it for three. I'll get transport back for two, and then then three nine nine five is a cheap car. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It'll be a cheap car, won't it? It'll be sub five, and it's a right colour. Nice colour. I've got to stay out of that room because I'm going to buy shit loads more. <laughs> if only I knew someone with a transport company would get cars back. <laughs> I'm now going to. Should we go to a fund? Should we find out and find out what would, if there was on it? Because I haven't looked at it at all. I don't know. Well, I don't know. Well, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't I didn't look at anything. I was there on a lot. It was at 2.7. I was like, that sounds like a cheap car. So I've absolutely no idea about it, really don't. I don't know what they are. It had five services. Did it? Any report? No report, but it's from a good it's from a good dealer, affordable cars at Driffield. They're a big So they are can they? Is there any MOT? MOT? MOT ten, twenty twenty four. Ah, yeah, yeah, so yeah, till October. Would you ever do that? No. No, I'd, that say, not, I'd stick it at four grand. I'd, I'd PDI it, you know what I mean? Check yeah. it and that. So and check then, what uh, the MOT came back with. Do you want to do a vehicle score or by random purchase? So I've just broken the cardinal rule. I wandered in there and there was a Nissan Note. I can't even show you a video of it. A Nissan Note on the block on a 2014 new shape. 100,000 miles with 1.2 petrol. And it looked cheaper, 2750. So I just had the bid on it. I didn't look at the report or anything. Joe's going to do a vehicle score for me on the MOT now and tell me what the MOT is. What, like. What's the reg? Uh, YH64. XWD. What do you reckon it scored from 1 to 999? 64. No, you're, you're laughing. 724. Really? Oh, that's great. And it's saying. Has that got no advisories? No, it's, it has got over 10 comments on recent MOTs, vehicles over 10 years old, mileage is above 80,000. 10 comments on the recent MOT? Yeah, pass rate 70, so. Oh no. Tire, seat belts, not check. Oh, because it had a seat in it. Near side front suspension. It really, is it? Not Tires and a bit of suspension bush. Give it all that, can we? Yeah. Would you do all those things? Yeah. You'd, you'd fix all those things, would you? Get them off if it's the, just an advisory, yeah, you wouldn't take, you wouldn't take them off. Well, the thing is, if you drive it and it's got a, like a bit of a clonk or whatever from the suspension, then fair enough, there's an actual problem. Yeah, there's yeah, a difference yeah. in there between a clonk and someone getting a pry bar in and managing to yeah, make yeah, it exactly. move, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I would drive, if there's obviously a noise, suspension-wise, I would do it. But otherwise, you'd just be like, well, not if you're doing it cheaply. Yeah, yeah that's the trouble, isn't it? It's like, should we, um, I haven't auto-traded yet, see what it's actually worth. I don't know what the was. See, um, at my pitch, I'd put that par extra clear, four grand. Did you really? Yeah. yeah. Do you know what? What's the mileage? Oh, 101 and a half or something. Do you know what? The, um, the best thing you can do now is do me a good deal. Look at you jumping at the 500 quid stuff. <laughs> you don't want to do that. Sorry. It's just so tempting. It's like, hang on, anything's got to be worth 500 quid. What's the red? I get something. Why you have to take that? Did you hear that? It's like, you better come look down this side before you put your hand up. <laughs> you get Right, what do we reckon the auto trader's going to retail the value at? Four and a half. Four, seven, eight, nine. Four, four, six, two. Yes! <laughs> Why don't a car? I wonder how cheap this would be, this. Do you know what? I'd maybe just do the... I'd do the other one. Four, seven, eight, nine. Three, seven, eight, nine. Three, seven, eight, nine. I get people every day out for two grand cars. I'm like, on on three,
No, no, I was just looking at that one. Oh, right. I didn't want it. It's got no MOT and whatever, but. Two more, look at. Two more, mainly, really, I've got in the list. You haven't got that one deal by any chance? Not that one, no, I've got a different one. Is it that one? Yeah, that's my one. <laughs> yeah. I know you have that, mate. I won't bid on that. It looks quite nice, that, doesn't it? Yeah. It's all right. They're always good news as well, and it drives so nice. What about the 5 litre V8 supercharged See, there'd be a good, good margin in that. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? I thought that would be more up your street, that. Yeah, it would, but... Do you know what? You'd sell it easy enough. You'd just be living with the person <laughs> who you sold it to forever. Like. You'd be like on your Christmas card list, wouldn't it? See that Mundo that I was looking at? No. Smoking. Oh, was it? Mm. What were you going to bid on this other one? Yeah, I'm not that. No, no, but what would you have? I mean, you. Oh, I would go to four and a half. Really? Six, nine, nine on the pitch. Would you go to? I was going to go for full whack. I could, I'd do five. Yeah. Because I reckon we we could put it up for the six, eight, five, yeah, yeah. whatever it is. Even retail. though it's got no history, like. Yeah. All right. So yeah, I forgot that bit. Yeah. <laughs> but if it had history, but the thing is, you might be able to yeah, find some. We probably have to do a cam belt exactly, and a, a yeah, yeah. good service yeah, yeah. just because of that. Yeah. So you could promote the fact that. So then what would you be looking at? Yeah, you still. Yeah. Margins. But, it's not going to give you any bollocks. It's a diesel, Mondo, everyone wants one, don't they? Yeah. And it was nice buying it. Was it yeah. Was it 100? 89. 89, yeah. No V5 either. Oh, I know there's always something, isn't there? There's always something. I might even hold out because I, I want that A4, uh, A5. Oh, you with that, isn't it? That's my yeah, sort of thing. That's, that's, that's like, that is a bit of you, isn't it? That's the one for a bit of margin. So I think, well, I don't know if people will be scared of it or they'll be all over it. See, what puts me off this is I had a couple of them in the young round for ages, but they were like 10 grand. Yeah. Because it's in the 7 grand range, you've probably got a bit more of a chance, haven't you? I fancy this, but Joe fancies this as well, so... We'll have to toss for it. I think it's a deal, so. <laughs> Don't miss out on it because I, oh, I might. You, you, go for you it, might get a. You go for it. You go, Dave. I'm having the. I'm having the A5. You put me off it now. <laughs> <laughs> Too much. My head, my head's thinking, what's going to get me four hours home? That's what I'm thinking more of. That would have been probably See, more sensible than the Audi. Everyone's going to ask, is the camera being done? Yeah. But it should be too hard on one of those. So my lads could do that, mm -hmm. you know, in a few hours. It's only costing you what? The cost of the camera? Yeah, like 90 quid or something. Yeah, It does, yeah, it does sound sweet, isn't it? 
to have that a mop, it'll look lovely, won't it? So it's, it's the sort of car that you really will make look amazing. Yeah, yeah, that'll look spot on. You know, your pictures online and all that, it'll just... Would you do the cam belt on that as well? Potentially. I can't remember if it's got... I can't remember what it said about history. Actually, I do fancy that. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what? It just, it stands out, doesn't it, compared to all the other ones. And that'd be nice to drive back down south in that. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm thinking. Toby's fluttering his eyelids at me because he probably wants to drive it back. <laughs> yeah, three services. It's higher mileage again than I'd like, but mm. I really want to start moving into the sort of it's just, yeah. 60, 70 below and just stick with that stuff. Yeah. I, I think that the mindset is when you start out with the cheaper stuff, high mileage and whatever, you never sell, that sort of stuff doesn't really yeah. sell as easily. No. Which it probably doesn't. I think if you do enough of it, it does. Yeah. yeah you yeah. find someone comes in and buys the 15,000 mile jazz that I've got for 10 grand. Yeah. When others on 90,000 miles are six. Yeah. I, I just think in my head, I'm like, who would do mm. that? Yeah, but yeah. There's plenty of people who are like, well, a car after 50,000 miles is dead. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Look, I, I've fell into the trap so many times of buying oh it's high mileage but it looks great value but with this it is eight year old so 110,000 mile isn't actually that high is it really no but then it's one of them you look at it, it looks so beautiful and then when you get home you think oh should have bought a 60,000 mile or one yeah isn't it? or yeah or a Kia Picanto or something <laughs> There's, there'll be someone for that though. Oh yeah, 100%. Definitely. It won't hang around long at all. Oh. Our place as well, we can put that on the front and someone will come in and be like, oh, I saw you had a... Yeah. They'll say an A4 probably. You had yeah. an A4 out the front. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 You're going to bid on that then? Yeah. Come on then, let's get it. Well, mate. Done, mate. <laughs> I was actually thinking I'm going to bid on that because like, it's like 59 and cap clean, six and a half. Yeah, and so uh, actual um, auto trader retail is 9.8. Oh my God, you've won. <laughs> so I said commiserations. Oh shit. <laughs> but I'll probably, I'll probably get halfway home and it'll die or something. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, exactly, yeah. That's oh, my luck. Well done. Well done. I was there, I was thinking I need a bit on that. And that just shows if you have patience. Yeah. You know, you've got to be really patient and you've waited right till the end. And if margin's and you, the most important thing, it. not panicking about the mileage. Yeah. And not, you know, going you know, for some of this. You've got desirability on that as well. Yeah, yeah. So desire, mileage isn't great, but it's going to be in the right price bracket as well, isn't it? It's what I was saying earlier, like, yeah, those sorts of cars. Someone wants that car, but can't afford a low mileage one. Exactly. They still want that car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. still does the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah So. Yeah. And it's in their price bracket. Anything under 10 grand. Is that what we're going to put it at? 10, yeah. 10 grand, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you could have outbid me, I'm not, you know. I couldn't get me thing together. I'm like, <laughs> that sounds really cheap. Oh, yeah. yeah, well done, mate, well done. Right, that is it for today at G3. I've actually bought 
at least one really nice Audi A5 kind of grand coupe or whatever they call it, and potentially a 3 Series. We need to go and find out. Dave has bought a mini roadster convertible, I believe. That seems like it might have a quite decent margin on it, and he likes minis, so that might sell well. And James has bought a Hyundai i20 and something else. Oh, a Nissan Note that he just saw in a whim and bought. So make sure you check out both the guys' channels, Car Dealer Pro and Chops Garage. I'll put the links below. They're probably both going to have videos coming out of what they've bought, what's happening, getting them prepped, and then we can see who's made the most profit. It's me. It's pretty obvious. Unless my car blows up on the way home, which, touch wood, it won't. But uh, yeah, we'll be able to uh, see who's won, who's bought the best car, and we can all have the debate in the comments below who bought the best car of the day and who is the ultimate winner. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, make sure you like it. Don't forget to subscribe because there will be follow-up videos from this on the cars that we've bought and who the winner is. And hopefully we can do this again. Give us some more ideas for challenges, things we can do at auction because I love coming to auctions like this. It's great fun. Anyway, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.